this is what she shows her face. She wears this ridiculous mask. She'll explain it. I'm only, this is 17 minutes. I'm only going to play it a little tiny bit so you can get to the whack job. You'll see all the links to the whack jobs. This is a new one. This is the one that Katie Groves has been telling people to watch that she supports her. Psh, fucking man. Can't make this shit up, right? Take 9 video Operation Indigo. Again, I apologize for the mask. 25 cents. Only mask I could find around. And I'm laying down because I suffer from severe migraines from the um, satanic ritual abuse that they did. They oftentimes put instruments up my nose um, to harm my brain. And I've been suffering from migraines my whole life and nosebleeds my whole life. And I've been hospitalized for migraines for the past 10 years. And I'm on treatment, beta blockers, sumatriptan, um, steroids. This is the channel. Katie Gross says it's called Sarah Lawrence. If you type that into search, this comes up, Peaceful Warrior, with a bunch of Sarah Lawrence's, but it's Peaceful Warrior. It's just a fucking whack job. It's a goddamn, look at this, whack job. Right? So Katie tells you to watch her, TW, triggering, trigger warning. This is the one that's on Katie's channel. There is a new Monarch Survivor. Whack job whistleblower on YouTube. I want you guys to whack job support. Fucking man, they're unbelievable. Yeah, they're fucking crazy. Botox, um, other over the counter things. I have done everything to try to control them, and they're so debilitating. I haven't. All right, let's listen to some of our stories. Of course, now she has fourteen living in fourteen people living inside her. <laughs> Here's one of them. So, Katie, meet Skylar. So, I'm here to tell you more about my satanic ritual abuse since you couldn't validate it. Well, so from the time I was born until the time I was about seven years old, I was sexually raped by with my well from the time I was born till age two I was raped with objects forced to ingest my own poop and vomit by my mother and listen stay on script okay you can't be bouncing all over the place like that all right Jesus Christ stay on script so each two raped repeatedly vomit by my mother until age two raped repeatedly until I was able to withstand intercourse with a full-grown adult man okay and then they took me to the satanic illuminati because I was born into a satanic illuminati family and my family is part of the Merovingian line which is actually the line of Jesus Christ but they don't really care because they're so satan they're so satanic they want to abuse Christ's children so but they picked the wrong child to abuse. But anyway, so they took me to the <laughs> Freemasonic Lodge when I was two years old, and then I had to fuck every single man in there that wanted to fuck me. And luckily, it was just one the first time. And I was two, and I was naked, and there were all these elderly people sitting around the table, famous Hollywood stars, people I didn't recognize, people I did recognize because I had a TV at home. Because I'm, I'm actually young enough to have a TV when I was a little girl. And, oh, on top of that, then after they raped me, they put me in front of a table with cut up dead <laughs> human beings, and then... <coughs> goblet full of blood and I refused to drink the blood and crawled underneath the table and tried to escape the room crying and they put me back in the table and they said if you ever misbehave again you'll end up cut up on the table like the people on the table. Then we jump forward to when I wasn't abused anymore by the Hollywood Illuminati and the Washington DC Illuminati and I was then place alone with my mother when my father was away working for the government in a very high government position that I can't say the name of because it's so high up that he 
I can't go into anyway. So and then when she had custody of me all alone, she used to beat me, and and then she would. She decided to prostitute me out. So from age six to age ten, she prostituted me out to cops, local cops, because they told me they were cops. And they said, if you ever try to tell anyone, we'll we'll make sure you never talk again because we're police officers and see our badge. And then they raped me. And then my mom, she was so smart, she blackmailed them. Damn. But they got mad one day, and the cops came by and shot up our house and shot up our car. So fuck you, Katie. <laughs> what a whack job. No, she only wears the mask when she shows her face. And she doesn't do that often. Hi, so it's me again. Um, Tamara, I kind of have to apologize. I My personality is splitting because of some of the events that have taken place recently. So, um... I really feel that my life is in grave danger, <clears throat> and I'm worried about somebody else I care about. I feel that I, that posting uh, what I did may have just gotten me killed. So for the record, I'd like to say that I was also with the band Nine Inch Nails. <clears throat> as um, a musician, I actually worked as a musician and had also many other jobs in the art industry um not too much in the music industry and i also um was invited recently to come on stage and sing um one of the most famous songs that nine inch nails produced which is the perfect drug i wrote the song i scored the music to this song and i created the video with trent reznor but i asked to not be named because of the well, because of the Illuminati abuse that I had endured, and I watched uh, good friends of mine be killed, including Brandon Lee. When I was a teenager, I was really close to Brandon, and he was murdered by the Illuminati. I posted a video onto my account that I really want you guys to check out. It's called MK Hollywood. It's really enlightening about everything especially about my experience and Katie's experience and other people's experiences. Um, I don't really hate Katie. Uh, that other personality wasn't even Skylar. That was, that was my 11 year old personality. I guess we could call her Lucy. Uh, I don't have a name for her. I never really, she never really comes out. So, um, <laughs> like Lucy, I guess. <laughs> And Skylar is another personality that I'm very aware of, but she usually stays within uh, Christian borders, but the 11-year-old just did not behave at all. And um, I felt like going ahead and allowing these personalities to come through so you can see that it really, it really happens. Um, they really, really abuse you so severely and then torture you. Like I was tortured at churches that were closed with medical instruments. I'm absolutely terrified of medical instruments and being alone in a room in a doctor's office from the abuse. Um, and I'm going to end the video so it will upload quickly. And I really want you to check out the video I posted onto my account, MK Hollywood. Very good video. Excellent. It's so enlightening. It's so spot on. Take care. Unbelievable. These boys are fucking crazy. Hollywood. Man. Uh, can't make it up. So, I'm just making this video because I'm really irritated and upset and have uh, another personality of mine, Skylar, come through, who's like a really kind of dangerous, kind of like criminal, like assassin. I'm, I was trained to be an assassin too, so like Okay, my SRA experiences were all true, and the person that encouraged me to do it then said, quote unquote, oh, I can't validate what she's saying is true because I didn't experience any of what she's saying, unquote. So are you telling me that because your experience was different than my experience that you're 
<laughs> that oh well then maybe we shouldn't believe your SRA stories. So what the hell? Like how dare you say that to another SRA victim? Are you absolutely out of your mind? <laughs> One bullshit artist is attacking the other bullshit artist. As as is what they all do on YouTube now. Everybody attacks everybody. No one wants to find out the truth. And none of these people have any proof of what they say. They just, you know, general hospital, one life to live. It's the guiding light, SRA. <laughs> Fucking good Lord. I <laughs> can't get over it. Maybe you are. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that because you seem like you were, and that's why I posted it because I thought I was healthy enough to do it. But now my personality is splitting because I did it, and I put myself at grave danger, and I'm probably going to get killed for doing it. And I did it because she, like, encouraged me to do it and then totally denied, like, then made that statement on her page saying, well, I can't validate it. Well, I think, honestly, that since she was trained during Operation Indigo years, that the, this Operation Indigo, which was trying to kill the Operation Christmas children, I believe that she did it out of harm. I don't believe that she's trying to help me at all. I think, in fact, that she's subconsciously or consciously literally trying to get me killed. And it could very well be that she's subconsciously doing it in her broken mind state because I don't know how many personalities she has. I only have 14 that I know of and she could have hundreds and one of them could be subconsciously <clears throat> was told to attack me because actually a lot of people know who I am and what I've been up to. So I am making that video short and posting it. Thanks. I love you guys that are supportive. Um, I don't understand why another SRA victim would treat me like that. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me, right? I mean it. Whack jolly. This chick, I'm telling you, this is all one broad, and she has more fucking stories. She's got more stories than Katie Groves. I didn't think that was fucking possible. Carly Noel. They're all part of the same little fucking hackerama. Let's hear again what this lady has to say. Whack job with the mask. You only get to see the mask once. Eh? Because she doesn't like to show her face or she wears that fucking stupid mask. Let's hear what she's got to say. Wacko. Okay, hi, it's me, Tamara. So, um, okay, I could not sleep. And I was being... I saw the, I guess the Pleiadians, and they aren't really blue. They were here in my room. Like, they've been bothering me all day. Like, somebody put eyes on one of their posts on one of my videos, and it. I started, like, having hallucinations from the eyes that they posted, and then, like, oh my gosh, then these aliens with, like, short, flat heads and, like, elongated... Face, like, okay, elongated face, short, flat heads, big, dark, black eyes, really separate, shorter than the greys, even, and they don't even look even slightly like humans. Like, you know how the greys kind of look human? These things don't even look anything like anything I've ever seen. And they were, like, all over my room, like, really short, like, disgusting... Ew, they really grossed me out. I've been freaking out right now because it just happened like about, I don't know, half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago. And they were in my room, man. <laughs> I think they got I think they got word that I posted that Operation Indigo and they're really angry. And they did not look happy at all and they weren't emanating any blue light or like making me feel peaceful at all. They were just like evil little twits i'm gonna end this video with uh i'm gonna get rid of these mother effing aliens asap this chick takes the cake man she is all over the whack job let's see what else you have to say in damask Howard, in five days i've been in bed for three days straight i cannot do much of anything except 
drink some water and go to the bathroom and go back to bed. So I'm just making this video because um, I don't want to do part five or six of the satanic ritual abuse. I don't want to talk about it anymore right now. Um, I don't feel comfortable. Like I was attacked by satanic forces this morning and like I saw them, like I saw a vision of them and uh, I don't know. I, I know that I'm being protected by Archangel Michael and so forth and Jesus Christ, of course, but, um, I, I just don't want to do the satanic ritual vi videos right now. They're, uh, they're really angering the Satanists and I feel extremely threatened, which of course is why I wear this mask. So I'm more afraid of the Satanists than anyone else. Even although the Nazis that trained me in Operation Paperclip, um, MK Ultra uh, monarch training when I was a really little girl, they scare me as much as the Satanists. So we're not going to be discussing those two subjects here. And from here on out, it's PG, and it, nothing should be triggering you unless, like, blue aliens trigger you, because we're going to be discussing blue aliens that um, the humans on this earth call um, indigos. And they are alien races from the, Ple uh, the Pleiadian star system that we call the Pleiades um, and we call them the Pleiadians and or we call them the Indigos. Operation Indigo involves these aliens. It's a negative destructive operation that was developed to purposely harm the United States of America and to purposely harm all the children chained in Operation Christmas which I was a part of. In fact, some of Operation Christmas trainees have been killed. Now, Operation Christmas, to make it extremely brief, was to protect the United States at all costs from terrorism and inside corruption or moles or a foreign country takeover. And Operation Indigo, and also to protect the rights of all citizens and lives of the citizens of the United States of America. Operation Indigo is the exact opposite. They're not trained to protect you from terrorists. They are trained the opposite. They they promote. They subconsciously don't even aren't even aware of it, but they have been MK Ultra programmed brainwashed to promote um, depopulation to promote false religion, new age religions. Oh my God, if you've ever met anyone that calls himself an indigo child, that means they've been programmed, completely brainwashed by literally programmed. They aren't just calling themselves indigo children. They are either the programmers that committed these atrocities and crimes against humanity, or they are the victims calling themselves indigo children. Like, I have a book from someone named Doreen Virtue, and when she still called herself an indigo child, like, she is older than me, so I believe she was torturing these kids and treat, t telling them all sorts of lies. And the guy that started this operation was George Herbert Walker Bush Sr., my arch enemy. And he was also head of the um, Illuminati for multiple years. Uh, Freemasonic high priest and so forth. So um, he started Operation Indigo to try to destroy Operation Christmas when he became president in around 87 or so. <clears throat> 1987. So these kids are just coming of age now or some of them are a little bit older. I don't know how far the programming went in the beginning, but I think uh, I know that a lot of the people that I'm meeting are in their 20s. So, I mean, they're like the generation just younger than me. So first there was Operation Christmas, and then I was on the tail end of Operation Christmas. And then Satan took over and made up Operation Indigo to help the Bilderberg Group to depopulate the United States of America, which is their goal to follow the quote-unquote 
Georgia Guidestones to depopulate the world to like one million or one billion people. I won't even look at that. I won't even repeat it. It's so ungodly. Like, nobody on earth has the right to decide who lives or dies. I mean, the death penalty isn't even right. I'm against the death penalty. I mean, Jesus Christ is the only one that has the right to decide. I mean, jails, yeah, absolutely. I mean, serial killers, these Satanists like, are murdering people. <clears throat> even they could probably turn to Jesus Christ if they spent a long enough time by themselves in a jail cell. Anyway, the point is, um, that's just my personal belief, but some people believe in death penalty, but I don't, but, um, but we're talking about genocide of the American. I'm only playing the whole thing, so there's a record of it, but she's all over the place. He's just someone who doesn't even know what the fuck, can't even get the script right. He is a babbling fucking meatball. People, this is not about the death penalty. This is about the innocent victims that have committed no crimes and they just want to kill everyone off. It's not just in this country. It's a global problem. So, like, Operation Christmas was not about that. It was, like, the opposite of that. It was, like, protecting the lives of the United States of America, of all the citizens of the United States of America from harm, from threat. The other point of the operation was to protect the president and to protect the powers that be. The other point of the operation was to protect um, the Constitution and the other part is to protect um, what else? I don't know. I'm probably missing the rest. But it was Christian. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been called Operation Christmas because Satanists won't use the word Christ. They will avoid the word Christ like the plague. They can't say the word Jesus Christ because they're so evil. It can't even come out of their mouth. The true Satanists are so evil they cannot even say Jesus Christ. Or if they do say Jesus Christ, it's in vain. Or if they do say it, maybe there's a hope for them and they will be saved. I don't know. But anyway, I'm trying to also to not let you see my eyes because I know like I know technology has um, eye recognition technology. So I'm trying, <laughs> I don't want you to see my eyes. If I really wanted to be low key about it, I could low key about it. I could like totally cover my eyes up before I speak. But I mean, like I said, I'm not really concerned too much about the government. Although I am concerned about the Nazis that trained these kids. So Herbert Walker Bush senior, uh, regretted what he did before he died because I knew him. I doubled myself out and worked for his terrorist group to try to find out what was going on to stop him, etc., etc. He was running a terrorist group, and I doubled myself out under um, Operation Christmas. Anyway, so uh, it, it's a really long story. I mean, to even Let's go stick to the subject. Okay, Operation Indigo. <laughs> she can't stick to the subject. She don't even remember what the fuck she's talking about. She's such a whack job. <laughs> what a nutcase. They used the Pleiadian aliens, the Indigo aliens, to promote New Age philosophies. So all this yoga madness, all the Hindu madness, all the Sanskrit madness, all the Buddha madness, all the Tibetan madness... All of the uh, crystal power. No, actually, I like crystals. <laughs> so I'm not going to say anything bad about crystals. I'm really like, I really like crystals. I think they do have cool energy. Um, so I'm not going to say anything bad about crystal energy work. Um, there's nothing wrong with meditation in, in and of itself. It's just if you're meditating on a false god, then it's a problem. So, I mean... They promote, they're, none of them are Christians, and they promote false gods because and they promote things that the globalists want them to, to promote. So, like, CERN is a, uh, an attempt to do time travel and create vortexes or blow holes into dimension, interdimensional holes that they've developed. CERN is in, I believe, Switzerland. It's a gigantic machine. They already vaporized the 
one of the poor women that developed it. I think they took the video down, but I watched the video like five years ago about the woman that was one of the researchers developing CERN. It's a gigantic computer machine thing that like literally vaporized this poor woman. They thought they were going to send her to another dimension. It's really sick. Then they just vaporized her. Well, she got to another dimension, all right, because now she's in heaven. Uh, yeah, so it's like complete, um, it's just madness. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. The chemtrails, all that stuff, it's all real. All of it's true. Um, it's all part of trying to depopulate the world. I mean, it started with Kissinger putting fluoride in the water. I mean, this went on, this has been going on since like the 20s or something. I can't take this. All right, I gotta stop moving around my video because I do not want to identify myself. And I'm trying not to identify myself when I do this video. But this is very serious. This Operation Indigo. If you meet someone that says they're an indigo child, just beware. They've been trained to kill. They don't know it. They're murderers. They're uh, ungodly. They worship Satan. They don't know anything about Jesus. And they will harm people that try to speak out against evil, against corruption, uh, against Satan worshiping, against torture, against, they are very brainwashed. So I'm warning anyone like that's out there that is watching these videos because they're a victim of satanic ritual abuse. If you meet an indigo child, don't talk to them. Just stay away from them because they will like literally find a way to harm you. They will not be supportive. They will, they have no mercy. They're, they've literally been brainwashed to be completely evil. They're just, I don't have another word for it except that they're just completely ungodly. They have no knowledge of Jesus Christ or God or the Father or angels or real angels. They have a lot of false teachings about fake angels that don't exist, probably fallen angels. I mean, Shiva and all sorts of Hindu gods that don't have any real power that are satanic that aren't Christian, and just, uh, I just can't stress enough that if you are call yourself an indigo child, you've got, you have survived satanic ritual abuse, you were abused by Nazi war criminals and their descendants, they use MK Ultra on you, and monarch programming, and you are completely under their deception, under their control. So if you call yourself an indigo child and you do these, you say these things and you meditate and do yoga, I'm telling you right now, when you were a little girl or a little boy, they took you, raped you, created different personalities, used other techniques to torture you, and created the quote-unquote indigo child. So I don't care if you think you're identifying yourself with that. It's baloney. You're not identifying yourself with it. You've been brainwashed. You've been tortured. And the memories are so... F they know what they're doing so well now that, I mean, it was almost impossible for me to recall any of my memories in training. It's... I only have, like, a handful of training memories of the, the torture paperclip Nazi leftover training MKUltra programming government half government, half Illuminati programming, that I really had to work to try to pull up any memories of it because they know what they're doing. And if I had to work that hard, and I am extremely conscious in Jesus Christ and have been born again by literally Jesus Christ himself who blew Holy Spirit into me, then can you imagine like how hard it is for you to even comprehend the fact that you may have been brainwashed by the government. You won't, okay, even if you can comprehend that, you don't even understand the techniques that they use. They literally split your personality apart to create subsequent personalities that they can control, like multiple, up to 14 to 15 personalities. Some people even get split into 100. I've heard of up to thousands of personalities I mean, I actually slipped into a, my five-year-old self about three weeks ago because it's it's serious. I mean, I my abuse was a lot more intense 
and longer than Operation Indigo children, in for the most part, unless they were born into an Illuminati family, then it would be a similar situation. So I'm just saying, you um, guys with the uh, the fake light, the fake blue light. Oh, and they say that they have blue light emanating from them and all this peace and love. And all they do is hate and treat you like crap. <laughs> I know what's going on. It is absolutely like a fake operation. You'll see it everywhere. You'll see people doing um, all the new age stuff that's like researching from the 70s. I mean, I'm even guilty of wearing 70s clothes a lot, you know, because of some of the, uh, some of the MK Ultra programming and the, the, uh, fake new age stuff. I mean, it's actually, they're a lot more comfortable than the other crap that they sell. And I don't like boring clothes. Maybe it's all the psychedelics that they used on me. I don't know. I have to have lots of weird patterns on my clothing or something. I don't know. Or, or maybe I'm just a creative type. I mean, I like to paint and draw. And sometimes I, when, if I wasn't injured from the last murder attempt, I made my own clothes and they were very beautiful and delicate and silk made them out of recycled silk and sequins and things like that. So this has nothing to do with Operation Indigo. <laughs> I'm just saying that the, the brainwashing is so intense that you won't even know that it happened to you and that, that you'll still be operating under it. And you won't even know. I mean, I could do another video about more about, like, what the goals of Operation Indigo are, but basically the Indigo children are trying to kill the Christmas children. So, warning, I hope this uploads. If not, I have to redo it. Bye. I can't say any more. Jesus. You can't make it up, right? These fucking people are crazier and dog shit. And, of course, here she is. And that's the lady she was talking about here. I'll play a little. Hi, everyone. This is Katie Groves, and we're just making a really quick video here to share about a YouTube channel of a monarch survivor whistleblower who has just started speaking out. The name of her channel is Sarah Lawrence, but she introduces herself as Tamara in her videos. And, um... I would like to be clear that not everything that she says um, directly lines up with things that I've experienced. Some of the things she talks about, I have not recovered any memories around to date, which does not mean that they are invalid in any way, but I simply cannot verify the validity of everything she says. So you guys will have to come to your own conclusions about a lot of it. But um, I think that it's really important that I share her channel right now. I feel a real sense of urgency about it, and I really hope that people will listen to what she says if it's if it's constructive for you, and that um, you guys will take the time to really think about some of the topics that she's bringing to light. Um, all that said, I think the only other thing that I have to say is that in her videos she wears a mask. It's a very particularly triggering mask for survivors of ritual abuse and mind control. And she explicitly states, multiple times I think, in her videos that she is not trying to trigger anyone, but rather just protect herself, and this is the only mask that she has. So uh, survivors should definitely be careful in watching her videos for that reason, and also because they can be highly triggering in general. Um, but I definitely hope that you guys will not um, give her any shit for that. I really believe that she is doing her absolute best to give testimonies about her experiences that are accessible to all. Okay, that's all I've got. Thanks. Up her car. So fuck you, Katie. <laughs> you gotta love these fucking nuts, man. Uh, you just have to. You have to love them, cause they're crazy fucking women. They have lost their fucking minds, oh yeah.